Guys, our ongoing chase of a day in a life of interesting jobs continues. Today we've got Hank chasing cops and Sabeel chasing strippers. Bill, I know that many people consider stripping one of the most demeaning ways to earn a living, but I wanted to know what it takes. What I found out is that some of these strippers are mothers and some are even wives, and they're just out there making a living. Where else can you make $5,000 in a night? What do you call yourself? Stripper, dancer? I embrace the term stripper. I feel the term stripper is a very empowering, liberating term for women who own their sexuality, who are proud of their liberation like sexuality and proud of like their exhibitionism. Whitney's not out there looking for love. She's actually selling a fantasy. In fact, she's already met the love of her life. My husband is very supportive of what I do. I'm very supportive of him being a doctor. So he's very supportive of me and my job as well. So I followed Whitney to the gym to find out how much work is entailed to be physically fit and to be able to hold your entire body weight up on a pole. What did we just do? Uh, low weight, high rep, uh, body weight exercises. You want cardio endurance for if you're gonna be on a pole and be on there for three songs of climbing it. You need upper body strength. Then I followed Whitney to the locker room where she actually gets ready for the night. Uh, this is my locker here, it says Whitney on it. This is my stripper shoe. Okay. Or my, my, my dancer shoe, excuse me. Then she also took out these giant eyelashes. Those eyelashes are really big. Yes, that's the point, yes, right? That's the point, they make me feel glamorous. She also starts out the night by putting her own money on her own body. You gotta have your garter because we're not allowed to have clutches or handbags to carry money around because of the chance of it would most likely get stolen, someone would open it up. Then Whitney showed me her incredible talent with the pole on stage, and then I got a chance to take the stage myself. At first, I tried to do what Whitney was doing, but failed miserably, uh, but then I started to get the hang of it a little bit more and did my own routine. But while I was you know, feeling comfortable with the pole, Whitney surprised me and actually jumped on me and we both fell down. I did not have enough body strength to actually hold my own body up on the pole and her body. I think there is a, there's maybe a misconception that, that you think that it's demeaning, but it sounds like from the women you met, they don't feel that way at all. I will say I had a very close friend who did strip in college. She did it to pay off her bills. And I will say that she left her heels out in plain sight. She like rocked it. She said all the time it was an amazing workout. Her, she was like, my body's the best shape it's ever been in. She felt empowered. I love an empowered woman. I love an empowered woman, but I love an empowered woman who uses her brain. Uh, I, I have issues with a woman who uses her body in that type of manner to be empowered. Naked women sell. <laughs> it's just what it is.